Greg Zerman, the Shah Khan, and in this lesson we're going to talk about an important feature of Burp Suite called Intruder. Burp's Intruder is basically a brute forcing tool that can be used for guessing and enumerating users' passwords and values. By selecting a specific part of an HTTP request, we can enumerate that specific area using a list or different payloads. There are different attacks here as you can see. Each of them has different functionality. We can set different kind of payloads. We can brute force numbers. We can brute force using the brute forcer feature. What this will do is this will um, brute force a four digit value actually or what we can do is simply run a list what this will do is this will use these values one by one in this request like first there will be this value then the request will be sent using this value and then the other this is actually a brute forcing feature of burp suite proxy in the next lesson we will learn how to brute force using burp suite proxy and in this lesson we're going to talk about brute forcing with burp suite intruder so in this case you can see here is our target application and there is a login panel now what we have to do is that we have to brute force password for this panel using burp suite intruder now first we have to capture the request of login as you can see here now here is the post request being sent to login.php sending this to burp suite intruder now what we have to do is that we have to select this specific area of brute force now we have to brute force this value so we have to select it and have to add we have to click this button this actually means that this area will be brute forced selecting sniper type so that's what we use for brute forcing and a simple list now what we have to do is that we have to add some kind of keywords what we can do is that we can import a specific kind of list from a file in burp suit pro there are predefined list that we can use for brute forcing but in this case as i'm using the free version i will enter some kind of random values that i want to brute force some random words Now let's start the attack. Now it will open a kind of dialog where we can see the response, status codes, and all this stuff. As you can see, <coughs> that there are some kind of status code. Now, sometime when a correct password is found, it will give us some kind of 302, a redirect, or some kind of different response code. So we can identify the positive or the successful um, brute force using status code or the length. Now as you can see that the request, first let me show you the response, error, it's an invalid response. But you can see on the fifth attempt, the response or the length is different from the others. It's 812 let's check its response <coughs> now you can see here it says welcome admin and login successful so that means our brute force was successful and the password was administrator by using the password administrator we got the positive response so let's try it copy and pasting it here 
and as you can see that this worked so our brute force attack was successful so that's how to perform a basic brute force using bird suite intruder